Welcome to the second episode. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record the metal laser cutting process, but I did manage to film the bending. So today, we're going to take a look at the final result of the 3D work I showed in the first episode. Let's get started. So, after creating the DXF file from our 3D software, and for those who don't know, a DXF is a 2D vector file used for laser cutting and CNC machines. We sent everything to a company that cuts and bends all kinds of sheet metal. An important aspect of bending is that if you want a perfect part, you need to calculate the bending allowance. In simple terms, the bending allowance is a small correction you apply to the flat sheet so that after bending, the final dimensions come out exactly right. For example, if I want to make a part with two sides of 50 millimeters each, I can't just draw a flat piece that is 100 millimeters long. When you bend the sheet, the material stretches on the outside and compresses on the inside, so the final dimension would not be accurate. That's why we use bending allowance. We subtract a few millimeters from the flat length, so that after bending, both sides end up exactly 50 millimeters. This is the final result, and I have to say it looks really good. I just need to clean it properly and remove the glue around the segments without scratching the surface. I'm really happy with how it turned out. The next challenge will be installing the LEDs because it's quite small and there isn't much space inside. I'm using SK6812 LEDs for this project because they're addressable, which means I can control each LED individually. And something I would like to try is using optical fiber to direct the light onto each segment. That will be the next challenge in the upcoming episode. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.